Hi right, guys, I'm here with Vader, the Polish death metal legends, although James isn't Polish. So obviously... Uh, <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you're drunk enough to be Polish. No, not yet. <laughs> so obviously the new album, The Empire, is out now. A um, little bit too soon to tell, but how's their reception been thus far? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's already so far, so good. So actually, yeah. I can say just about uh, what I read into in internet. Or yeah, in yeah. Some magazines yeah. who had a chance to review the album already. It's very, very good. Yeah. So well, thank you. <laughs> well, like I was saying before, I spoke to Nico from Entombed last night, and he wanted me to tell you that it's, he thought it was incredible. They were doing a signing session. Oh, cool. And it was playing in the background, and the bass player got up to go buy the vinyl. Oh, great. <laughs> That's but, cool. Uh, yeah, obviously there's a really cool um, album cover, and I read that hidden deep within it is a lot of different references to movies and uh, history. But it is, and uh, that was something I asked uh, uh, Joe Pitanio mm. to do on the album, just to, to give that little connection with the, one of those most popular Serials like of the last decade, mm. which is definitely Star Wars and the yeah. Game of Thrones, yeah, and uh, Games of Thrones, whatever. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones. So uh, that was also connected to all the, what's happening around. Yeah. You know, so there's so many movies about this in you know, imperial tendencies, yeah, which is also like pretty, pretty intense lately in a real world, in a real life. Yeah, and uh, this is this was the reason. Uh, title by the title and uh, by the cover and yeah. uh, why such intensity <laughs> yeah no oh, it's really good I mean, he's the same guy uh, I can't pronounce his surname John Pantegno who did the Iron Times artwork as well yes yes, yes. actually actually that was uh, that was the cover uh, I really asked for and uh, the, the this kind of story behind the situation actually because uh, the first idea of the cover for the new album was uh, Dan Sigrid, who was an artist who created the, the, the very first Vader album cover, oh, The yeah. Ultimate Incantation. But uh, unfortunately, he just he bombed everything a week, probably a week before he's supposed to give us a, a, the, 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 the artwork done. Yeah. So that's why the delay of the album, actually, that was the reason. And Joe Pitanio uh, saved that situation. He just left everything. He, he left everything and he boxed me up for three weeks and uh, it created pretty good, probably different, but still very, very intense and a bit different cover for, for the Empire. Yeah, I love it. It's definitely good. And you worked with him before on Tibia Digni, yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Sweet, man. So obviously, uh, you mentioned about the sort of concepts that are dealt with in the album, Empires and modern uh, sort of comparisons to the likes of Mini the Empire. Mini-album is actually it? something, so we we had to uh, release uh, in the summer to give to our fans uh, something fresh before the album will be out. Mm. Because the album, we, we knew already that would be very delayed uh, up till November. Yeah. And uh, we are very busy with the festivals, the good festivals uh, this year. And uh, so we, we first we wanted to release it as a single, but uh, just added two more songs, made it a little bit more interesting. So we added uh, the the, the Morhead cover mm. song as a, a huge as a dedication uh, from the band, for myself, yeah. to uh, Lamy as a his personality and his band. Yeah, he died unfortunately, and uh, it was just like so so important persons person not just to me for I think the whole metal society if I can name it that and uh, that was the best we could do to make a cover yeah. and actually which I choose the overkill because actually this one feeds to the concept of all these uh, let's say imperial tendencies of of the new on the new album mm. Mm. so we released uh, the EP and uh, thanks to that at least three songs were published before we started the tour. Yeah. And we started the tour uh, uh, on the same day when the album was released, so it's that was the only the only way to give something to, to people before the tour starts. Okay, okay. Obviously, um, quite a few bands have done covers, not just of Motorhead, but of Hawkwind as well. Voivod covered Silver Machine as a tribute. 
Is that a real testament to how much Lemmy was important to you? And did you ever get the opportunity to tour with Motorhead? Uh, you know, I can't forgive myself because I really, I, I had twice the chance to talk to him mm. when he was uh, sitting alone, you know, been smoking uh, just at the table alone. But I, you know, I know the situation when when artists wanted to just get some rest or something. I didn't want to be, you know, another yeah. asshole trying to to chat and just. To, to, don't to have give a chance to relax, you know? yeah, yeah. And uh, so I lost a chance forever. Mm. That's why today I, I probably I, <laughs> I can't forgive it myself. Yeah. <laughs> but so it was. And uh, but you know, Motorhead, uh, Ace of Space was actually the first, the very first vinyl I ever bought with my own money, mm. uh, and uh, years ago. And definitely Motorhead. Uh, was a big influence for Vader as an intense playing band. Mm. Motorhead was probably the symbol of intensity in the 80s when uh, when the the new wave of British heavy metal yeah. you know started to exist as a something fresh, something new. And uh, Tree with such an intensity noise, you know, mm. was something absolutely new and uh, uh, for me that was absolutely crazy, you know. And uh, they turned, it in, you know, to today, Motorhead sounds more like rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, they are, actually, but yeah. uh, there were no bands like Slayer or Morbid Angel who came later. No. And with no Motorhead, with no this way of intensity, maybe they would never start to exist, you know. No. Maybe Vader would be. Some, something different or sound like tigers or pantang or so, something so uh too many if but that's the yeah. truth that's why that's why so big respect to to him and what mm. what he did in the past you know and mm. big big respect well speaking of the 80s one thing that's always fascinated me about vader is that you started in 1983 right uh, basically how was it for a metal band under the communist government of the time to exist hard it was really hard because there was nothing available actually in Poland. In Poland mm. was a different country. So yeah. Today, today there's not a big difference, but language maybe uh, mm. between London, Warsaw. You know, it's now it's even mixed. So I, I can even meet Polish-speaking people right here. There's more city. Polish people in the queue <laughs> yeah. than there were yeah. English. <laughs> so the world changed in the meantime, but uh, in the 80s it was absolutely different. It was like yeah. if you wanted to be in a band, especially band who plays the music, which is can be even bond mm. because nobody knew that it was just too intense nobody cared mm. we were like keep we always kept away from the poly politic and everything no. so we focused on a different world mm. all these you know devils the rebel you know to, to be against everything you know and uh, that was so but we were teenagers those days you know i was no was it difficult to get hold of heavy metal records yeah back it was then? difficult but but the passion was bigger okay and uh, we used, you know, homemade stuff, homemade equipment, yeah. guitars, homemade pedals, you know, homemade amplifiers. Mm. And it worked. And it worked good enough to start a band. Yeah. And to start the scene with the other bands who, who had the same situation. Yeah. So we had no support because no, how to count on any support from the government who was like absolutely against anything who came from the West. And of course, this music came from the West. Actually. Mm. And uh, but the good thing is that they gave us a chance to start. Nobody actually was interesting because nobody understood. We, as, we first we started to sing in Polish, of course. Yeah. It was different singer and Vader at the beginning. But the, after we started to be more intense and we started to sing in English, <laughs> let's say Polish and Eng English, mm -hmm. those days, and uh, we are speaking about some stories, you know, fairy tales. Yeah. Nobody cared. So there was no really censorship for a band like metal bands like us. Oh, okay. No. Cool. So we could exist. Actually. Well, unfortunately, we're running out of time now. So I just like to say thank you very much for taking the time out to speak to us. Thank I'm you, sorry. James. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, again, you asking something. I, I could not give any chance to talk to. Yeah. Do you mean? If it's any consolation, <laughs> I did an interview with James a but few months what back. I can, so. what, what I can say, what, what I can say, it's uh, the new album. It's all about new album. Mm -hmm. It's him. It's uh, it, drumming. The, on the, the drumming is, is fantastic. I was going to say the drumming on the Motorhead cover as well is fucking Absolutely. Yeah.